Hi, I'm Sawyer Carroll, and welcome to Falcon Focus. I'm here with my co-host, Ronnie Tremble, and today we are joined by Mr. Dan Wedding, the strength and conditioning coach at Fitch High School. Thank you for being here. Before we get into it, let's pause for a message from our sponsor, Spotify. Spotify can get you hyped and pushes you to work harder and gives you the power to devour. Hello, Coach Wedding. So let's get into it. Tell us a little about yourself. Where did you attend college and how did you come to be a lifting coach? Awesome. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate your time today. Uh, to get into it, uh, I'm originally from East Tennessee. If you can't tell by the twang a little bit. Um, I went to my undergrad at Tuscaloosa University, which is a Division II school. Um, and then I finished up my master's degree at East Tennessee State. I've kind of always been involved in athletics and you know, I, I wanted to be able to pursue a career that kept me involved in athletics, but also I didn't want to be a head sport coach because I know that they have a lot on their plate and a lot to deal with. And I got to mix, you know, strength training with coaching, and it just kind of made the perfect sense to me. What type of training did you need to be able to help athletes reach their full potential? <clears throat> That's a good question. I think the most important part of that is – you have to know what your goals are at that particular time because sometimes as the year goes on, you may have different goals. So, you know, you playing baseball early in the off season, your goal might be to put on a little bit more muscle mass. Well, there's certain exercises that we might exclude um, from our exercise pool that um, may not be better for developing that muscle mass. So like we don't do Olympic lifts when we're really far away from the season. As we get closer and we're supposed to be more explosive, we start to incorporate those things to help improve our vertical um, and other things like that, our speed and our power and our explosiveness. How does lifting help an athlete to get stronger? <clears throat> so in terms of getting stronger, um, in, in my world, we call it force production. And the more force you can produce, uh, the more potential you have to be a more powerful athlete. So a great example would be um, who can bench press 225 pounds more an athlete that can bench 300 pounds or an athlete that can bench 400 pounds okay if you can bench 300 pounds you probably can do 225 for six to eight reps if you can bench 400 pounds you can probably do it for 18 to 20 therefore because you're stronger you produce more force you can move that weight faster you're a more explosive athlete so i think it it starts there um, strength is a low-hanging fruit in our world it's the easiest thing to achieve um, and then it kind of just allows other things to prosper from there. What are the other benefits of lifting? <clears throat> so with getting stronger, um, you are going to become more explosive to an extent. Um, but there is a, there is a point where you can be too strong, you know, um, there is a point of diminishing returns. And I think it's important to keep that in mind. Uh, you know, we really try to encourage like training in full ranges of motion. Like instead of spending a ton of time like static stretching and things like that, if you train in full ranges of motion, you're going to become more mobile. You're going to become more flexible. Um, so just do that and, and don't worry about spending a ton of time static stretching. Um, also, I mean, you, you've been in there, you've been part of it. Like if you're there and you're consistent, you get 1% better every single day. Um, you know, the results are going to come. Now you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, but consistency is the biggest part of that. What is the average time it takes to gain the most muscle mass? Man, that's that's the question right there. I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't even look like I lift. Um, so I, I think it really just depends on your goals. Um, with an athlete, it's not always about gaining the most muscle mass. Obviously, like you need to add some, and it's definitely good for contact sports to add that muscle mass, but there's other sports where – adding a lot of muscle mass can maybe hinder you. So like baseball players, um, although they are pretty big nowadays and they stay mobile and flexible, you don't want to add too much that might limit your mobility and your flexibility and could cause a problem. Um, but in terms of if that was your goal, I think it really depends on, you know, how seriously you take your nutrition and your recovery because you can train as hard as you want to, but you can't out-train a bad diet. Or if you're not eating enough calories, you're not going to consume enough to even form that muscle mass for your goal. So 
at the end of the day, it comes down to how dedicated are you to putting that on and doing the things outside of the weight room it takes to add that muscle mass. Let's take a quick pause to recognize our sponsor, Bang, the energy drink that keeps you energized and while adding protein to your brain and muscles. All of your fitness goals are possible with Bang. Coach, we know you work with many of the Fitch athletic teams. How important is it that students train responsibly? Can an athletic overtrain? Yeah, so um, it's super important. The biggest thing that I preach in the weight room is consistency. It's just coming, showing up every single day, doing the work. And I know that in life things come up, but if it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not, you'll kind of you'll find an excuse. And so if you're showing up every day consistently, making it happen, like I said earlier, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, but you're going to get through those, you know, you're going to get through those valleys. Um, but absolutely, an athlete can overtrain. Um, you know, does it happen in high school? Not very often. The good part about you all being so young is that, like, you're very resilient because you're still growing. So you can handle a lot of things that maybe an athlete that has a little bit higher training age, say they're in their 30s, you, you all can handle what a lot of 30 year olds probably can't, especially if they've not been training well. Um, so it's very individual, but absolutely it can happen. Can anyone learn how to use weightlifting to get stronger? A hundred percent. Um, I think it's awesome for just the general, um, population. So in terms of if you're a general person, you can learn to Olympic weightlift, you can learn to power, uh, to power lifting, uh, there's so many different avenues that you can use. I know a lot of people get into CrossFit now. Um, there's so many different things that you can do that anyone can come in. And, you know, I always recommend getting with someone that knows what they're doing to kind of like get you started and, and get you on the right path. And and then the next thing you know, like it's not just something you do. It's It becomes a lifestyle because it makes you feel so much better. How do you motivate athletes when they want to give up? Um, I think that for me, this is multifaceted because, you know, we all have ups and downs. We all have good days and bad days. And like, when you have a good day, you feel pretty motivated. You know, when you have a bad day, the motivation isn't always there. So I think the most important thing is, is to have some discipline too. to have some discipline to show up on days that you're not feeling great. If you only show up on days that you feel great, you're probably not going to show up very often, you know? So have that discipline. And then when you don't, just being there and, and trying to recognize that that athlete isn't having a good day. Sometimes they don't need motivation as much as they just need to know that you can see that they're a little off and that if they need you, you're there for them. Unfortunately, we're out of time for today. Thank you to Coach Wedding for taking the time to speak to us. And thanks to our listeners. Tune in next time for another episode of the Lifting is Life podcast.